What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you saw my last couple videos, I did some tackle shop reviews, some bait reviews. I also did a giveaway. If you have not entered the giveaway, I'm going to put a link down below for you to win one of these unique reel bags. It's a neoprene, neoprene reel bag. It holds your reels. You can hold your line, hold bags of plastics, hold whatever you want. It's a nice neoprene Real bag from Unique Products. Uh, buddies that I've known, uh, they come to Lake St. Clair with us. So, smash, look at that down below, blah, blah, blah. Down below, I'll have a link to the video that I am doing the giveaway. And I will probably announce the winner Friday night, I don't know, 7, 8 o'clock Central Time. Um, but on that note, what I'm talking about today is we got a ticket. My buddy and I got a freaking ticket after talking with the police officer. Now, let me state the ticket was nothing. The ticket was 25 bucks, but that's not the point. The point is we got a ticket for parking our truck and trailers on a area that she specifically told us to go park at because there is no parking anywhere on this ramp or anything else so i'm gonna go show you on the map where we parked the ticket all that kind of stuff so stay tuned we'll see you here in a second all right guys we're back i'm gonna do it just a uh in-depth news report here all right so this is powers lake in southern wisconsin i advise you probably not to go fish this lake it was terrible anyway i hear it's a great great lake to fish um but if you're not a resident or if you don't get to the other tiny boat ramp first it's gonna be impossible for you to park they pretty much are trying to make this lake private to residents only but they can't i guess legally so they just make it really hard for um the public to to use this lake and drop their boats on that's from my understanding talking with the officer so this is the boat ramp right here. As you can see, we put in nice boat ramp, got docks to dock in, not not bad. Um, it's got a turnaround area. There's actually a bathroom right here. We uh, The officer was parked right here in her truck. We saw her walk down the dock. We talked to her for about 10 minutes. Asked her, what's the deal here? Why is there no boat parking? All this parking right here is for cars only. There is absolutely no boat parking trailer parking on this boat ramp so we asked her what is the deal and she couldn't really give us a straight up answer and we pretty much told her you guys are just trying to make it private so um you're you're keeping uh from boat trailers to park here you want all of them to dump your trailers in the private houses over here around this entire lake so we talked to her and she said for us to park a quarter mile down the road so as we come down, all these side roads right here have no parking signs. No parking, no parking. I understand that. So we came all the way down. No parking, no parking, no parking. She told us to park in this overgrown lot that was not owned by anybody. Um, the grass was overgrown, and she's like, people park here. We don't have a problem with that. Not a, not a big deal. So we came all the way down. So this is where we parked. And we parked right here on the side right here. There are zero no parking signs there. There are no signs that say no parking. This is an abandoned lot. This lot is for sale. There is a sign here. So there's an easement here. This is a county grass easement. There is a sign here that says for sale private property back here. But there is no, no parking signs. So my buddy and I parked on the grass here. Not a problem. We figured cool it's overgrown the grass is really tall they haven't mowed in a long time uh we figured maybe we would be all right my guess is and my buddy's guess is this gentleman here was kind of out in his yard doing stuff in his driveway in his garage and he did not like us parking across the street so he called the police or whoever the township people and they gave us a ticket each um, they gave us a ticket at like 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening. We didn't get off the water until sunset. So, um, And the kicker was we also paid 
to launch our boats back at this ramp. It was eight bucks to launch your boat. We each paid the eight bucks. So I figured, what's the big deal? We put the little tag on our trucks, not a problem. But we still got a $25 ticket, so it cost us $33 or whatever to fish that lake. And we caught some dinks. That was about it. So just kind of bummed. Kind of just kind of ruined our day of fishing. Um, that's all right. I took them out to dinner just because I felt bad for picking this lake. So I picked up a tab for dinner and uh, all was good. It's not a big deal. It's 25 bucks. I sent it in, you know, paid them, whatever. Um, I am probably going to call them. But my issue is when your officer tells me and my buddy, the four of us, the three of us actually, to go park there, we shouldn't have any issues. But I guess that's not the case. Um this right here needs to be boat parking. I don't really care what they say or what needs to be done. That needs to be boat parking. This is essentially like buddies coming in to meet their family, friends, to go jump on their rigs over here um, on these docks. So that's about it. That's about it. Um, cool lake. Don't get me wrong. It was a fun lake. I'm sure it's great in the summer or the early spring and maybe the fall, but it just sucked for us. Um we caught fish offshore. We caught some fish under docks. The water was really low, so the docks were just completely out of water. And it was like a foot of water. Um, and there was rocks and gravel. And with all the boat traffic, it bottomed out. Troll motors, so kind of sucked. But other than that, <laughs> smash the thumbs up. Post down below what you guys think. I think it's pretty bogus that they're doing that to this lake. And they do it to some other lakes in Wisconsin. Um, but post down below what your thoughts are. Ah, I'm probably going to call them just to kind of voice my opinion and see what they say. Not really a big deal. It's 25 bucks. It just kind of sucks. You talk to an officer for 10 or 15 minutes. She was super nice, but was she kind of being nice so she could tell us to park there and give us $50 worth of tickets? So, I don't know. Smash the thumbs up, guys. Post down below what you guys think. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Oh, forgot one last thing. On the ticket. They uh, marked us as parking in a fire lane, so I'll show you the picture. Um, There's other options of like illegal trailer parking, boat trailer, or truck trailer, all that kind of stuff, but they marked us as parking in a fire lane, which that is definitely not a fire lane because it's not a paved road. It is an overgrown grass easement, so just kind of funny. Forgot about that when I was doing that little uh, map view, whatever, um, but yeah, the whole thing is just ridiculous, so anyway, guys smash it up thank you post down below we'll talk to you later